Hey everybody, welcome back to Outward. Robert Rambles here, and thank you so much for joining me today. We are north of the bandit camp that we previously visited, and uh, looking at the map, I'm really considering heading right into Haloed Marsh and trying to get to Monsoon as soon as possible, just because that's the faction that I want to go with. And in my first playthrough, I spent a lot of time uh, just doing side quests and exploring the map and random locations before I actually progress the story. And I kind of want to tackle the game a little bit differently this time around. So I'm thinking that we go ahead and we go right into the Haloed Marsh and just try to get to the city of Monsoon. So we can pick that as our faction and kind of get into some of the, the story content. A little earlier than I did in my first playthrough. I think that will be pretty enjoyable for me. And the only thing that's stopping us is we kind of have to figure out where we're at, which isn't too hard. The Vigil Pylon is here directly east of us. And so we are somewhere in the between the mountain and the Vigil Pylon. So a little bit more to the northeast, we'll keep going. And we should get into Monsoon no problem. Yeah, we could definitely sprint a little bit. We just don't want to have too much more burned stamina. You can see there at the bottom left, if we look at our stamina circle, uh, we do have a little bit of grayed out stamina, which is burned stamina. And we need a specific tea. The tea that we use to cure the disease, that would be the tea that would also restore burned stamina. Uh, but we don't have any right now. And we also have a cold, which could be cured with the red tea. And the red tea cures the common cold and also restores burned health. But we don't have any tea of any kind right at this moment. We also don't have a very great bearing, but I think this must be the passageway into... Oh shit, look at that. Those guys definitely see us. Okay, that was super sketchy. Um, I should have been paying attention. And now, since I wasn't paying attention, I'm just going to make a break for it. I don't really want our first combat back in to be against two guys uh, that are taking us by surprise. So let's select. Uh, okay, I was going to say, oh, look at this. This screen is new. I've never seen this map screen before. Very cool. Harmatan. I don't know that I know where Harmatan is. We know where Berg and Monsoon are. Harmaton. Very strange. An acute cold has been contracted. So what is the acute cold doing to us? Negative 30% stamina regen. Jesus, that is enormous. That's enormous. Okay, so we came in at the very south uh, western corner here. Let's see two shares of nice. We have to go all the way north along the Pilgrim's Road to get to the city of Monsoon. There's so many things here we could explore, but for now I'm going to shoot straight to the city of Monsoon. And we are simply going to pray, my friends, we're going to pray that we get there alive. Uh, because from what I recall, there's some pretty vile stuff here. in the Hallowed Marsh. Um, they're dinosaur-like creatures that would probably annihilate us right now. See, I already don't like that we're, we're drifting not on a road. That's, that's already not great. Let's uh, look at these things up here that will kill us in a couple hits probably. You can see them in the dark right there. Yeah, they see us. Oh no, they definitely aggroed. Why am I off-road? How did we lose the road so easily? That's my question. I don't think I've ever lost track of a road so fast in my life. <laughs> oh, look at that thing over there. That's going to kill us. 
Our only hope here is that we outrun all this stuff. And we need to get ourselves back to a road, like, basically immediately. Doesn't seem like we're being chased anymore. So these are interesting, I never quite figured these things out, but if we stand in them, the glowing orbs will follow us. I originally thought these worked kind of like the butterflies in Chersonese, where you could camp at them and they would negate the risk of being ambushed, but that's not how they work, they just follow you uh, for a long amount of time and you get some additional light, which... Um, how can you say no to additional light in this game, especially when it is so freaking dark? Look at the skybox here. We see possibly a different moon. Um, maybe than the moon we could see in Chersonese. That's a little strange, but... Okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can we cross this? Um, we can. We can cross this. I don't know, again, I don't know that this is where we want to be. I would definitely prefer to stay on the road, but as you can see, uh, it's a very easy... Ooh, Palladium Vein? We will definitely... Um... What the hell happened? Oh... We got poison from walking through that water. Uh, it was rancid. It was rancid water, Robert. But look, look at this. As your eyes open, you found yourself propped up against a wall at the gates of Monsoon, safe. As you glance around for your savior, you see someone in gleaming white armor vanish into the crowd. Hey, we died out of my own stupidity, but <laughs> in this case, death was a benefit because we teleported across half the zone and we appeared here um, right at the gates of Monsoon. So how lucky are we? We are incredibly lucky, and that's kind of the weird thing about Outward's death mechanic, is that sometimes it can be punishing, but I have actually found that the quickest way to get to any city in any zone is if you get to a zone and you want to quickly get to a city, get killed by a creature. Don't get killed by a humanoid. A humanoid might capture you, take you to some kind of prison, separate you from your bag, etc. But if you get killed uh, by a creature out in the open world, uh, most of the time, and I haven't ran any numbers on this, but in my experience, most of the time was that uh, the death mechanic would just teleport you to the city. And obviously we have some ailments, but look what we don't have. We actually, during that death, we lost our cold. So, good riddance, cold. Oh no, we were there. Okay. This is how you get to Monsoon, so we just left. We were in the city. Uh, but had we did the whole run, we would have ended up here. And we would have took the ferry, which we'll do again. Um, but yeah, so, you know, death as a benefit? Kind of strange. A little bit odd. But in this case, that's exactly what it was. And okay, we are in the city of Monsoon. So, if we take a look at the map, that means we are somehow going to magically know where every single NPC is at, even though we've never been here before. So... Um, we came in down here to the south, Olier, our friend from, uh, from our hometown is right here. So I think we talked to her in this case to follow up on joining the holy mission. Let's Good find out. Good to see you. You came. How are you holding up? Uh, the journey was harder than we thought. We actually got poisoned to death. But, you know, besides that, we're all right. How are you? I've joined the holy mission. I've joined the holy mission and spoken with Alot himself. I've become a missionary in his service. He is a lot less formal than I expected. He hasn't forgotten what it's like to be human. Have you given my previous words any thought? 
about joining the holy mission with me? Yeah, you know, we have thought about it. And, uh, yeah, what can you tell us about the holy mission, though? The holy mission is about more than just <clears throat> working under a manifested god. Okay, so the holy mission is about more than working for a god or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. I like the idea of fighting a scourge. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. First, protect and look after those who are in need. Second, have discipline and mastery over yourself. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. It is a good set of values, if not the best worded. Um, we th I think we get the general idea. If you choose to join us, you should speak with Cardinal Bolamac. He will ask a lot to judge your worth. You'll find him in the temple in the northern part of Monsoon. Okay. Excellent. No, that's not. We didn't want to drop our bag. We, in fact, you could take a guess at what I wanted to do. Is that I wanted to pick up our bag. Uh, or open it, rather. Let's equip it. Let's open it. What do we need to take care of here? We are dizzy. Uh, we are very dizzy. We don't have a lot of silver, and we need to find a merchant um, as soon as we can. Oh, dear lord, what is wrong with us? Let's move that to the bag. There we go. That's better. That's a little better. Let's hit up the trainer, or the vendor right here. The Cerubin Caravaner. Greetings, friend. Uh, we want to buy something, when in fact we just want to get rid of everything. Um, and did we want to get rid of that? 28. Can't see what we have equipped. Let's get rid of this. We can sell that. For now, we'll get rid of this stuff. Uh, we'll save these. This might be crafting materials. We never looted that palladium uh, because we were poisoned and dying. So there's that. Alright, well now we have a little bit of cash. Um, it's not a lot. That's, that's not ideal. Because it means that we're probably not going to be able to... Well, we might just get free access to the house here. I don't remember if we had to pay for our faction house. Or not, but we'll find out. We have to head up north here. There are a couple trainers here. There's the monk trainer, which we definitely want to take a look at that. There's also the philosopher trainer. I We don't have mana right now, so we're not going to get into uh, any magical training. I think we might have went the wrong way if we're looking for the trainers. Oh no, here they are. Hey there! Patience and fearlessness allows you to win against any enemy, but honed techniques help too. Uh, so if we train with the monk, we can we can use focus. Grants the discipline, blue, discipline boon, which increases the physical damage of your attacks. Using this skill burns a bit of your maximum stamina until the next time you sleep. Certain skills require this to be active. We definitely want that. Brace blocks an attack, restoring your stability and giving you the discipline boon. So these both grant the... I think we'd go with the damage. This looks like more of a tanking. If you were going to do a sword and board, maybe you'd grab this. Uh, the break. So we have three breakthrough points. You'll notice in the top right of the screen to the left of our silver, we have three breakthrough points we can spend in the entire game on this character. We never get more. We can't refund them. Once they're spent, they're gone. You need to spend breakthrough points to get to the top levels of the trees. This one would give us an increase to our stamina by 40. We're definitely going to be getting this eventually, but you'll also notice down in the bottom right where it has the skill cost, it also costs 500 silver which we don't have right now. We are going to go ahead and grab a focus. 
and we are going to want to keybind that. What is slow metabolism? It takes more time for you to become hungry, thirsty, and sleepy. Um, that's just huge quality of life. I'm taking it. That's huge. Like early on, that's going to help us a lot. It's one of those gifts that are going to keep on giving. Alright, so this will grant us the Discipline Boon, which is going to boost our attack. Yep, physical damage increased by 15%. This last... Hmm. So a couple, a few minutes. And what's the cooldown on it? It looks like we can just probably just keep it active if we're paying attention to it. It's something that we're probably going to definitely want to have up anytime anytime combat is Greetings, friend. imminent. Uh, what does he have? Okay, so yeah, definitely this is magical stuff. We're not going to get into any of this stuff right now. But this is the Philosopher Tree. If you wanted to check it out, you could pause on each of these and read the skills. I know my camera's doing something really weird right now. There we go. Let's uh, knock that off. What we need to do uh, before we do anything else is I need to rest here because I'm kind of sick of our character being all nauseated. And we could sleep soundly in the city with no threat being attacked. So let's do that and let's just sleep and repair a little bit. Perfect, there we go. We do need to find the water here as well. I'm pretty sure that we're out. If we're not out, we're about to be out. Okay, let's grab our bedroll. And let's continue on our way. We are headed north. And we're gonna keep an eye we're gonna keep an eye out for some water. I probably missed it. It was probably right at the front. Oh, okay, we're able to come down here. Totally fine. Everything's fine here, we're fine. I can't get to this water though, that's a little bit odd. How about over here? Nope, we can't get to that water. I guess it's probably not drinkable water, huh? Probably not. I think we're going I think we're going right up those stairs. Who are you people? Well met, friend. <clears throat> Welcome to the city of Monsoon, home of Alot, the god of discipline. If you have any problems at all, or see a scourge beast of any kind, please let us know and we will take care of it. Alright. Doesn't really tell me who you are or what you're about, but that's fine. Already this feels so different than my first uh, playthrough where we spent so much time just wandering around Shersonis and just learning the game and the mechanics and getting used to everything. Very cool that we're here in the temple and I didn't see this till the end, till towards the end of my original playthrough is when we finally came here uh, and actually saw inside the temple. Alright, here's the Cardinal. Let's see what he has to say. He's going to judge us. Blessings of Ilat upon you. I'm curious you. about the, joining the holy mission. Joining the holy mission of Ilat is not a decision to be taken lightly, pilgrim. To join us is to cut all ties, abandon your bloodline, and live the rest of your life for the good of all Ori. To serve Ilat's cause is to accept the three tenets of the endless path. First, no one should suffer. Give of yourself. Seek to ease the pains of others. Second, no one is perfect. Always work to improve yourself in mind and body. Third, no one is safe. To protect Orai, one must have iron discipline. And never forget, the Scourge knows us. To pledge to a lot is to be forever marked as an enemy of the Scourge. Their hate of you will be boundless. Well, more than usual, at least. 
Okay, all that sounds really cool. I definitely like their background a lot more than the Blue Chamber Collective that we joined uh, when we stuck with Rissa in our first playthrough. So yeah, I'm not afraid of any of that stuff. This is your task. Then I shall intercede on your behalf with a lot. He will judge whether or not he will accept you. In the meantime, I would like you to prove that you understand the first pillar of the holy mission. There are three people I'm aware of that need some help. Ease the burdens of any one of them, and you will have proven to me that you are ready to join us. Listen well. Moffat, one of our oldest members, can be found in the residential area of Monsoon and is in need of a certain alchemy ingredient. Zephyrian, one of our champions, is in this temple and needs someone to brew a potion. And then there's Monsoon's chamber lord, Damien Lockwell, whose paranoia could use calming down. He is across that bridge to the right once you leave the temple. They're all important to this city, so take the time to introduce yourself too. Okay, maybe we'll go to check out uh, Damien Lockwell, whose paranoia could use some calming down. He's across that bridge to the right once you leave the temple. Okay, let's go check that out and see exactly what he wants us to do. We did get a log update. So we just have to pick one of them. And that should be fine. Yeah, let's head out across the bridge and to the right. We could probably just open our map. And uh, yeah, see, he's up here. Back in the city hall. I'm kind of thinking this is the right bridge. We're going to find out. Definitely a city hall. I guess you're nobody, since we cannot interact with you in any way, shape, or form. Well, we can't interact with you in any way, shape, or form. You'd think they could at least have something to say would be nice. I love the inside architecture of these buildings and some of the detail that's put into it. Like, what is this? Some kind of astronomy or astrology reference. Here we go, Damien Lockwell. Make it quick. I'm a busy man, visitor. If you don't have business with me, move along. Okay, well, we were told to introduce ourselves because you're paranoid. Oh, winds be damned. You're another stupid pilgrim, aren't you? Jeez. You listen to me, visitor. You can't trust a lot. Do you know what happens to people who serve him? He puts just a little bit of his soul inside you, and it just grows and grows until you're not you anymore. I had to watch as someone I loved drifted further and further away and then left forever. Without even bothering to say goodbye. And for all this supposed said God, I don't know what a lot is, but he's definitely not divine. If it wasn't for my opposition, I have no doubt he'd have enslaved this entire swamp by now. Okay, well we didn't know any of that. Um... We'll keep that in mind. Bah, if you bend your knee to Elot, you soon won't have a mind to keep it in. Don't make that mistake. Look, you want to do something to help me? Become a mage. By being in tune with life's vibrations, you'll resist that thing's influence far better than a normal person. Heed my warning, Pilgrim. Do not sell your free will to Elot. If your heart is set on taking that risk, become a mage. You know how to become a mage, right? We do. You'll need to travel to the ley line underneath the Conflux Mountain in Chersonese. I know one of Alot's champions usually hangs around the Holy Mission's entrance to help new recruits. And we know where that guy is too, we actually ran into him. I don't know if I want to get mana, because to get mana you have to give up either HP or stamina. And I really don't want to give up either for the build we have, but it might be worth it. 
at some point we might want to learn a spell to cast something. So maybe it's sort of unavoidable uh, that we would eventually we would eventually get mana. We can go talk to the other guys and see. I don't know if we we could probably take all of their quests and then only choose to do one. And so we could go down over to Mofat. We could go back inside uh, the temple because one of them was in, inside of there. And we get to see what our options are, see what they need us to do. I definitely don't want to run all the way back to the Shirsanese right now to, to get mana. That is not what I want to do. I'd like to do something that kind of keeps us in this zone for a bit. If, if that's going to be possible. We'll see where these other ones send us. It was Zephyrian, right? What you need? Hey there, do you need the help of a champion? Just point me at the problem and, and Sorian or I will take care of it. Uh, we're actually considering joining the holy mission. Let me take a look at you. Ah, I see potential there, but it's very much a gem in the rough. I can definitely tell you've got the spirit for it, but you need discipline. To walk the path... To walk the martial path of the holy mission. I really wish they'd either voice act the entire text box or none of it. Discipline. Right, that reminds me. I need a discipline potion. My stocks are low. If you could bring me one, I'd be in your debt. A uh, discipline potion. If you can't find one for me, it's pretty easy to brew. I'll give you the recipe scroll. I don't care if you brew it or buy it, personally. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Uh, what's serving a lot like? Take care, oh, eh? that's not what I wanted. I was going to talk to you more. What you need? Let me take a look oh. at you. Discipline. Let's... If you can't... That's it. Lend me your ear. Okay, here we go. It's amazing. Every day we make a difference in people's lives. Bearing some small portion of a god's power in your very being is incredible. It's also very dangerous. You'll need to lay your life on the line daily. The three pillars demand self-sacrifice. It's not for the faint of heart. Yeah, I mean, you guys have, you know, some cojones to be walking around with these candles on your armor. And it's like, look at how close this guy's awesome hair is to all of these candles. Like, you know, these guys have I to wonder. be badass. You will likely be following the missionary's path. Your task will take you to places far and wide to deal with conflicts that need to be resolved. Okay, what do champions do? I wonder. Elot's champions are the pinnacle of the missionary's path. We are blessed with great strength to enforce the peace. Whether that's destroying invading scourge monsters or punishing bandits on a kidnapping spree. If you're thinking of replacing one of us, think again. Elot may be powerful, but he's not omnipotent. He can only provide the raw energy needed for two champions at any given time. And neither of us has any intention of retiring anytime soon. Take care, eh? I hope to see you out there in the field, Pilgrim. Take the dive and join us. Very interesting. So the one guy talked about the fact that he doesn't think Elot is a god. We just learned from them that Elot can only power two champions at a time. That does seem very limited and very ungodlike, um, if I do say so. Uh, so he gave us a scroll to, well, at least he said he gave us a scroll, but did he in fact simply teach us a recipe? Okay, we'll have to pull out, do, we don't have our alchemy kit, so that's going to be kind of a problem, guys. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We could probably buy it. Oh, it doesn't... Does it not track? It's not tracking the sub-quests that we pick up from them, like when they want us to do a certain thing. It's actually not tracking that at all. 
Like, it's leaving it for us to track it. That's interesting. Uh, am I going to be able to find... The Alchemist. Okay, he's down here, so we'll just continue running south. Is there something you need? He did say Discipline Potion, did he not? Here it is. What are we looking at here? We're only looking at 15 silver for one of them. <clears throat> okay, let's... Let's just go give this to him. If that's all we have to do, like, that's pretty damn easy. He doesn't care if we craft it or buy it, so... We're not going to be crafting it without an alchemy kit. Although one set up here, but we actually can't use it for some reason. Interesting. What you need? Let me take a look at you. I can def- Discipline. Right, that reminds me. If you can't find one for me, it's pretty easy to bring. Okay, we have the potion. Oh, there we go. Option three. I have that discipline potion for you. Thanks a bunch. This will be a big help. I sometimes feel like I can't even make it through the day without at least one of these. Uh, you could have a problem, Zephyrian. Hey, by way of thanks, do you want to know how to make a warrior's elixir? Of course. You need to put a l put larva eggs, crimp nuts, crystal powder, and water into an alchemy set, and steam it. It's a real help when you're preparing for a big fight. Okay. Great. Take care, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I, I wonder... Ooh, didn't want to do that. I really have to remove that key binding. I think I mentioned that before that my potions can't be bound to E. Uh, they just can't be bound to E. I'm going to hit E accidentally all the time. What isn't going to matter if I hit E? Let's just put something on E that we want there, maybe? Oh, we can't click and drag. So unfortunate. And then... I mean, I don't even know if I want it to be R, but yeah, we'll leave it on R. I have called on Elat. He has been he watching. He has been watching. Oh you. no, you go ahead, Colonel. And would like to speak with you. Pray to the altar at the back of the temple and heed his wisdom. All right, the altar at the back of the temple. Talk to the altar, of course. Why not? An altar to a lot is placed here. If you wish to speak to him, this would be the place to do it. Okay, let's just say that we want to join the holy mission. A voice speaks in your head. It's gruff, but kind. Welcome. I am a lot. God of discipline. <laughs> let's see. I'm not going to say, my lord, it's an honor. No, let's go with number three. All right, how do you do it? Ha! Huh. Do you wish to check for yourself? Sure. Indeed. I assure you, I'm the genuine article. No tricks here. He actually said, indeed, a trick so impressive I lost my physical form, becoming living thought. I assure you, I am the genuine article. No tricks here. He lost his physical form, becoming living thought. Oh, should we tell him about the guy who's paranoid? I just want to see what he says. <sighs> I am aware. He disappoints me, but he is free to come to his own conclusions. Only he has the power to change his views of me. Fair enough. I sense a certain potential in you. Waiting to be forged into something stronger. If you wish, I will accept you into my holy mission. But be warned, to accept my blessing is to become the mortal enemy of all scourge kind. They will seek your destruction everywhere. 
always remember the three pillars of our cause. First, no one should suffer. Give yourself. Seek to ease the pains of others. Second, no one is perfect. Always work to improve yourself in mind and body. Third, no one is safe. To protect Ori, one must have iron discipline. Above all, never do something you do not understand. You must think and question the world around you. Only then will you achieve truth. Will you cast aside all the ties that bind you? and live your life for the good of all of Ra's people. Let's do it, guys. We're all in. You feel like this is a major turning point in your life. Will you dedicate yourself to the holy mission of Alat? Yes. You feel your spirit grow in strength. It's warm, like being close to a campfire. Then it is done. I welcome you into my heart and grant you the title of missionary. Do good in my name, and I shall do good by you. I reward those who prove their love, self-improvement, and discipline with newfound power. I shall grant you the power to bind light to your weapon. It is a spell, so if you wish to make use of it, you should head to the holy mission's entrance on the Conflux Mountain in the Shersunis the next time your travels take you there. <clears throat> Zephyrian often trains there, and may guide you through the path to the ley line, where you can gain the power of mana. I am certain you will be called to visit the Shersunis on a mission soon enough. Elinara will give you tasks on my behalf. Speak with her from time to time, and she will tell you what needs doing. She is just outside my temple's entrance. To narrow my focus to any precise place or person, Reminds me to events going on everywhere else. I get it. You don't have time for little old us. Please, listen. If you prove your dedication to the cause, we shall speak again, as I bestow upon you new tools for your work. You do not hear lots of voice from the altar, but you feel connected to it somehow, like a spider's thread links you to it. Very interesting. A lot more interesting, I think, than the Blue Chamber uh, initiation. So, that's done. He said that sh the woman outside here would be able to give us quests. So, let's just go at least see what our first quest would be for the Holy Mission. And obviously, everything is telling us that at some point we're going to have to get mana. So, we'll be doing that soon. Take your time getting familiar with the marsh. You'll get your first task soon enough. Prepare yourself. In a few days, I will have something for you. Okay, so typically that means three days she'll have something for us. Uh, thinking about what we could do, well, we have all kinds of things here we can do. Um, but, you know, there's the thought that maybe we do go back and grab our mana. And then by the time we get back here, three days will have passed and she'll have some quests for us to do. So I think that's what I'm going to plan for. And we didn't get to see a lot of action this episode, unfortunately. I did do quite a bit of running, but we avoided uh, mostly everything. So I think maybe next time I'll just start us off in Cher Sinise at the mountain. And we will find our way in and fight to its center. So that should be a good time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll be in the Cher Sinise. Thank you so much for joining me. It really means a lot. And we'll see you again soon. Take care and wish me luck.